Hello, this is Oleg with OpenBOM. In my video today, I will give you a quick demo of how OpenBOM can help you to streamline your new product development. Starting from a simple bill of materials of the product that we are going to develop, and then ending up with a creation of uh, purchasing orders and uh, managing your inventory. So let's start from a product. I have this wireless router. You have this demo model in all your OpenBOM demo account. And we can start from here. So let's just explore this uh, model first. I can open Bill materials and I can see uh, the information about the product. So what is, what is important is that uh, you can see Bill of materials this bill of materials is created directly from SOLIDWORKS. We will not demonstrate it now, but that's something that you do very simple by extracting data from SOLIDWORKS or any other CAD system. Now you see this is the multi-level bill of materials, represent the structure of the product with all branches and all components. What is important to see is that OpenBOM is managing items and all these items are managed in a catalog. So a catalog, you can have multiple catalogs, but for this particular case, let's just take a look on components in this catalog. And uh, what you will see is that each component has a quantity on hand. Now, quantity on hand is your stock. So uh, very simple, I have 500 screws. I have some components here, but basically I don't have anything. So now let me go back and uh, uh, in my bill of materials, I, I would like to make 10 of these uh, wireless routers. So how can I plan what to purchase? Uh, again, going back to catalog, you can see that every component also has a vendor. So vendors is from whom you buy. So you can manage multiple, you can manage multiple uh, vendors in the sourcing page. So you can see you can buy from different places. We will not focus on this now. We will focus on the process first. So we have vendors, we have components, we have quantity on hand, and we have bill of material. So what I want to do is I want to go and create a batch order. So batch order for 10 units. I, I already created one, but again, it's just create and defining how many how many uh, units you want to make. So if I will navigate to this order now, OpenBond will make analysis of how many you need to buy in order to make this order. So what is important, you start seeing here a quantity on hand. We have unlimited workforce. We have uh, 500 screws and the required we have need 40 for this bomb, for 10 units of this bomb, because we have number of units and we have bill of materials, so it's a calculated. And uh, we, don't, we don't have any gaps because we have 500. Now, but for this component, you see, it's interesting. I have five and I need to, I need to have 10. So open bomb calculated your quantity gap. And for others, you see, because we have no components in stock, the gaps were calculated. So as you can see, this is your planning bomb. You know, sometimes we call it planning bomb, sometimes we call it order, but this is the place where you plan what you need to do and you can make different calculations here. You actually also know what is the cost of this order, just because we created this formula, calculating this, but now we can create a purchase order. So create update purchase order will generate purchase orders that I need in order to make this happen. So now what happened is that uh, the purchase orders were created per each vendor separately that was in this, in this order. So jumping back, just to remind you what we've seen, we can see here, this is what the order. So in this order, we've seen different vendors. And you can see that for each vendor, sometimes multiple components, this is what's going to be in the order. Now, for example, order in house, order in Granger, some other. So let's take a Granger. So that is order for Granger that we created for this wireless router. 
So you can see components are here, quantity gap is here, this is what we want to order, all information is here, and we can export this order. We can send it as an RFQ, we can send it as a purchase order. I can select what uh, information I want to put in the purchase order. So let's say quantity gap, part number, image, total cost. I export it in PDF. I can modify the template and I export this information. I'm looking in this PDF. This is my beautifully formatted purchase order. Again, I can custom image, I can custom, and I can send it to my vendor. So what is important that I can, once once you send it to someone, when you, once you receive the materials, uh, you can receive this PO. Once I receive this PO, the quantity on hand is updated. So now we can go to uh, catalog, and uh, when we see that now in the catalog, you will see the uh, that quantity on hand was updated for these components that were ordered from Granger. So that was, oh, this is the wrong catalog. Apologizing. So this is the catalog and this is the, this is the catalog with these components. So you see the quantity on hand were updated for those that we ordered from Granger. So you see, this is the, the component the quantity on hand was updated. So, and uh, this is the way how you make uh, this ordering. So OpenBOM allows you to update this order. And now you can see that uh, gaps are changing because for those components that you already received, there are no gaps. In such a way, you can go order all components. And once you're done, you create a release of production. All components are consumed and uh, you get your wireless routers, 10 units. So that was the process that allows you to manage uh, bill of materials from the beginning, capture it from engineering uh, information source, can be, come, can be coming from Excel, can be coming from SolidWorks. You manage your stock, you manage your inventory, stock uh, quantity on hand, you create orders, you send purchase orders, you're getting, you're getting components back, you update your stock information. So you have the full circle of your data management tasks that related, starting from the design, capturing bill of materials, managing your inventory, making orders. So I hope you find this useful and I will see you in the next video.